guys welcome back to my channel for another beauty related video today we are doing an update for the out the door and 24 project pan so this project and all of the necessary information will be linked down below and you can find my intro video also down below or at the end of this video you know somewhere I want to very first before I go into this update say I am so sorry I did not do an update last month we had family coming into town and I had a whole bunch of recordings that I just lost. And honestly, I had nothing to roll out last month. So the only part of this video that you were gonna see was a declutter and I kind of just decluttered things and didn't take pictures and didn't do things, but I did declutter 24 items. You can choose to take my word at it or not and I will not be offended. Um, but. So I didn't get that out last month and I apologize, but we are back here and we are ready to make progress on our stuff. So I have my notes here with everything that I said at the beginning of this project that I wanted to work through so that at the end of the year, these were either completed items or they were gonna be decluttered because we don't need things in our collections and our, in our homes that we're not using, right? Right. So what do I have to update you today? Well, I have two items that are fully finished. And guys, I'm so excited for these. Okay, one is, the first one is the Not Your Mother's Volumizing She's a Tease Hairspray. And I did use it for the final time today. I did my hair, I curled it, it was much curlier. This is after only what it's been about an hour since i finished curling it it was curled curled tight and i used the hairspray and clearly my hair doesn't hold very much curl it has natural waviness in parts but it doesn't like to hold a curl so i don't know i'm trying guys i'm trying there's an event coming up in about a month that my husband and i want to go to and i'm trying to play around with my hair because i don't want to spend money on paying somebody to do my hair for this um but back to the update so i did finally use this all up today so this get to get gets to get rolled out i probably would not rebuy this if i had other options the smell is not like amazing but it's also not bad at all but i just don't feel like this did anything for my hair at all well it helps maybe a little bit with the frizziness when i use it but outside of that as a hairspray as a holding agent it just it just didn't work great for me now this is a three so a medium hold so that could absolutely be the reason why but if i was in a pinch and this was the only thing available i would absolutely give give it a buy but I do not plan on rebuying this anytime soon and honestly I haven't had the best of luck with this brand so I probably won't try a stronger hold it just it's just not calling my name the next thing that I am rolling out and updating you on is the NYX professional makeup matte finishing setting spray there we go the matte setting spray I have really come to enjoy this one, guys. Like, I would say that this one and the dewy version are probably, if not definitely, my favorite drugstore setting sprays. I will 100% rebuy this again. Now, I do have a different setting spray that I prefer more, but it's a lot more expensive. So when I have the money, I will be buying that other one. But when I need something drugstore, prices i will be buying this one and they aren't like that much different but the other one i feel like does give me a better look and longer lasting so this one does give me that beautiful matte look without my skin drying like drying out and it doesn't break up the foundation or anything and it does give me a long longer lasting look but not as long lasting as non-drugstore versions but I am definitely happy with this. I will at some point rebuy this in a heartbeat. And I am excited that I got to get through yet another one of these. I do think earlier in this, we had the dewy one. 
Yes, we rolled that out in March. I just looked at my notes. So this one is finally going out as well. So those are the only two items that are fully rolling out, but I did want to give you an update on an item that I'm so excited at how much progress I have made on it. Okay, so guys, I, before this year, barely ever used a setting powder, a finishing powder, any type of powder on my face, okay? Other than, you know, blushes and stuff like that. So, but I had a decent collection of them. And so I decided I needed to roll one into this project to make some progress. And I had rolled in the Tarte, let's see, it's the Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Finishing Powder. Guys, when I rolled this in, this was pretty much full, if not completely full. I don't remember if this was the item that I opened this year as well. It may have been. Um, but if it wasn't, that should tell you how full this was. Guys, I have huge pan on that. That is all I have left. That is all I have left. And for somebody who just started using powder this year, like consistently, and still doesn't use it very, very often, that is amazing. And I have fallen in love with this finishing powder. And um, that's sad because I have other finishing powders that I have to use before I can go and rebuy this. But if I ever need one and this is available, I will probably most definitely rebuy this one. But this is not getting rolled out just yet. I just wanted to show you the progress I've made um, and tell you that I am still enjoying that one. And I love that that got rolled in. And I love that I'm enjoying using that. So the other items that I'm still working on are a bunch of those lip products. And I have a couple kiss nails that I'm still working through. So hopefully we'll see some progress on those in the next month or two, because it's starting to come to the end. And if I don't use them, they're just gonna have to get decluttered. Yeah, so that is it for the update as far as the makeup goes, but we all know that there's a second part to this project and that is decluttering 24 items from my home every single month. And some of you actually prefer this second part and I love that you're here for this and I love that you're encouraging me through this and I hope that you are also doing this with me. Before I show you the items that I'm decluttering from my home this month, would you do me a big old favor? Make sure you are subscribed. It's that red button down in the bottom. If you aren't, go ahead and hit it. I would appreciate that so, so much. That'll make sure that you continue to see my content. And then if you are already subscribed, thank you so, 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 so much. Can you just hit that thumbs up button? Just let me know you are enjoying this content, you enjoy seeing more from me. That lets YouTube know that they need to show my content to more people. All right, let's jump in. Now, some of these items I took pictures of, okay, a lot of them I took pictures of this month because I didn't want to keep them in my collection so long to show you. I just wanted to part with them. I was kind of in a mood. So I'm gonna pull up pictures of them and tell you what I got rid of, but I do have some physical items with me here today. But let's do the pictures first. So I went through some of my garage, obviously not all of my garage, because otherwise this would be a lot more garage stuff. Um, and I realized that there was a lot of bags of like potting soil and stuff that I had that is really, really old. Not even from this season or the previous season. No, like really, really old that I don't know why we still have. Um, some of it was given to us already kind of old and some of it wasn't. So I just was like, you know what? We have to part with these things. So first I have this full bag of potting soil and this one is probably the newest, but it's still at least a full summer, a full, like this was from 2000, this is from 2023 and I just forgot we had it. So that one's going away. Um, then we have this potting mix that, or that I was given for my succulents and so I use it as much as I needed to and then it's just been sitting in the garage. Again, this is at least a full year old and this one is super, super dry and like 
This oil doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. So that's going away. Um, changing gears a little bit. I, uh, for some reason, we still have this box for a chair. Are we going to take the chair apart and put the chair back in the box? No, not even if we move, we won't do that. So we parted with that box because that's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> then I had found some very old weed and grass killer. I wish that I you know, knew I had this, um, but it was just in a different spot from all the other uh, type of products like that. So yeah, I went ahead and just dumped that. It wasn't worth trying to see if it was gonna work on anything. I just, it was time to part with that one. Um, then we have these boxes here and these are, so that bigger box actually has also a big comforter in it that has some holes and it just needed to, it wasn't worth saving. So that is going away. And then the rest of the box is full of other boxes. So we're counting that as a couple things or a few things. Then we had this that was left with us, um, when we had moved into this house, the previous owners uh, had replaced the fan in our shower and I put the old fan in this box. And we thought that this was like another new one and it wasn't, it was the old one. I don't know why they kept it. I'm glad we finally looked at it and finally got rid of this. Yeah, another thing was this old, old, uh, extension cord and there are parts on it. I think you could probably see like a little bit of duct tape and then there are parts that aren't duct taped and it, it was pretty old, like falling apart. Like the inner wires are showing through several different spots. So for safety reasons, we just, it was time to part with that as well. Then we have this dresser. Now in our last home, we use this to hold all of my dogs like leash and treats and um, all her different like brushes and stuff like that. In this house, it just didn't have a spot and we found other places for that. And honestly, it's such an old dresser. And when you open it up, there are so many stains on the inside because I got it from somebody else who used it as a project dresser for like all of her paints and stuff. So there's so many different paint and like oil paint stains. Um, and so honestly, it just wasn't worth trying to find another home for. It's also very heavy. So we're just parting with that one. Uh, then we have <laughs> this thing that I was shocked that my kids were ready to part with because in our last home, they used it all the time. In this home, there just wasn't a door that it was very convenient to have on at all times. This was one of these, those over the door, um, punching bags and they're really fun, but if you don't have a really good spot for it, then it's more of an inconvenience than it's fun. So went ahead and parted with that one. We also maybe found an old Wii game from eons ago that my kids will never play again. So we decided to go ahead and part with that. It was actually in really good condition. So that one did end up getting donated. And uh, recently my oldest graduated high school and so we had a couple of these banners put up and well that was back in May and we're now at August so it was time to take those down and I'm not going to hold on to them for two years till the next child graduates so we're, ju we're just partying with those. We also had the summer of birthdays because both of my kids are summer birthdays and we are now well past both of them. So we had one banner up before, which we had already taken down, and then we had this put up for the other birthday. And it was just time, it's just time to take it down and bring in the next season. So that one is also getting trashed because it's not worth a couple dollars for me to store it, not be able to find it, buy another one, and then repeat that cycle over and over again. So just parting with that. All right, we have only a few items left to go, but thank you again so much for watching all the way through to the end. That means so, so much. and makes a huge, huge difference here on my channel. 
Next up we have some scarves and these are just old style, really thin, thin scarves. Do you guys remember when these were super popular to wear? Yeah, I do. I never got rid of them. So I, I had over the years gotten rid of a couple, but there were just some that I kept and I just have realized that I haven't worn these in at least a couple years. Like I might have worn one, one time for like a special occasion type thing, but honestly, nowhere near enough. And they're too big to use as like purse ties. So I have a white one a blue one, and this one was my favorite to wear. My next favorite to wear was this orange one. And then a green one. Yeah, I, I was obsessed. And yes, I had several other colors and I'm pretty sure they're all already gone. So those scarves are all going away. It is time to find a new home. Something that I'm not really gonna show you, but uh, another pair of underwear that are just needing to be parted with, just, just need to go. Um, and then the last clothing item I have is this tank top. I actually bought this not too long ago. So I bought this at, I think Walmart, it was like a dollar. It, it technically fit, technically fit, but it just didn't fit right enough for me to feel comfortable in it. So I haven't worn it. And I was like, well, maybe I'll just save it for like working out. And I just haven't worn it and it's, it's pretty much brand new still, so I'm just gonna donate that, okay? I'm just gonna do that, that's okay. It was a dollar. Um, next, we're moving into the kitchen. And I went ahead and grabbed one of these ice, making, ice maker trays. Ice trays? Yeah. So I have a whole bunch of ice trays, um, but I have a whole grouping that's all matching. And this is the only one that didn't match. And I don't even use those all that often. I'm not quite ready to part with those because I do have certain things I do with them a couple times a year to where I feel like they're still needed. Um, but I never end up grabbing this one for those. So I was like, it's time, just get rid of it. Just donate that one. Okay, the last three items I have all kind of go together. And this was a failed experiment, okay? It was this stuff right here. I'm sure you have seen this at least a while back because it was all over Instagram and TikTok and everything a while back and then Walmart got them and they were again everywhere and they still are everywhere. At the beginning of every new season, there's always a big display, at least in my Walmarts, for this. Now, this is the, is it pronounced Kenko? Kinko, Kenko, I don't know. Uh, this is like a smoothie shaker. It's a, a good design in theory. It has the base, the bottom, and then the top has this built in, and then you can just pour it all in, mix it all up, and drink it straight from here. In theory, that makes sense. However, the formula of the stuff doesn't quite get not chunky enough. Um, so that doesn't really work as well. It should have been a little bit more mesh, I think. Um, and then also just, I've only used this a couple times, like literally probably two times. And the coating, I don't know if you can see that, but the coating is already kind of coming off. Um, I do think it's just on the outside, but like I hand wash everything. So like this shouldn't in two uses have the coating already starting to peel off. Like, yeah, so, but the real reason why I don't use this is because these are disgusting. These are disgusting. Now we did buy a third pack. I don't remember if we finished it or if it expired or if it's somewhere hidden, but we did have a third flavor. And that one was the best of the flavors, but they were not great. So this one that we've not even opened is the greens one, which is kiwi, apple, and spinach. And this one has expired, it expired in May. Yeah. And then this one is the blues one, and this one is orange, pineapple, and blue spirella. And this one we have tried. This one doesn't expire until 
uh, November. So I will be uh, giving this to a friend who wants to try this out along with this so she doesn't even have to borrow it. She could just have it. If she hates it, throw it away. If she loves it, saved her a decent amount of money. Um, but guys, like this, so these come in these little packets like this, and it's basically all the necessary stuff you need for the smoothie minus the water. So you just pour this into here and you shake it up. And in theory, it's really good. It's got a whole bunch of vitamins. It's got your minerals. Um, let's see, it's got very low sodium, no fat, very low calories. Sugars are shockingly high, but they do use real fruit. So I guess that makes sense because it's natural sugar. There's nothing, no added sugars, which is nice. Um, you get your vitamins and your and all that fun stuff. So in theory, that was a brilliant idea. It just tastes disgusting. And it also like doesn't break up. So you get chunks. And I can't, I can't get over that. I just can't. So those are going away. And those are the final products that I am decluttering from my home this month. I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know in the comments below if you are doing this and if you are, what you decluttered this month. And if you aren't, still say hi. Tell me what you are thinking of this project. Let me know the type of content you like to watch and I hope to see you in a video very, very soon. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. Bye.